Okay. Now let me ask you about something that I'm sure is one of the most vexing things that faces people, particularly when they travel long distances, and that's when they arrive and their luggage doesn't. And Does that happen? Uh, it certainly happens occasionally. I've seen some disgruntled people. Fortunately, it's never happened to me. But it, when you travel overseas, it seems to me there are so many rules and there are things that sound positively frightening, like the Warsaw Convention, which, which sounds like you know, something that somebody wrote to be performed by a symphony. Uh, are there different rules with respect to luggage when you go abroad and what do you need to be careful about? The Warsaw Convention was a treaty. Uh, the United States is a signatory of this treaty and probably encompasses most of the you know, civilized world. What it does, it places limitations on what you can collect. Example, they set 25 francs per kilo, which translated uh, United States is said is nine dollars and seven cents a pound. And unless you have otherwise uh, written on it, they presume 70 pounds to be the maximum you bring. These are limitations that are placed when you want to collect. And probably the biggest problem that travelers have is getting back, they've lost the suitcase, they've had the camera, they've had so much more valuable in it, and they get a check for $600. The key to it is, preventive legal care is, don't put in to the luggage that which you need. Don't put in your medical uh, pills. Don't put in your legal papers that you need. When I go and give a speech, I always carry at least one set of clothes with me, and I try to carry on as much as I can on the plane. And the same would be true, I suspect, with, with anything like extremely valuable jewelry or whatever. If you've got it on your person or at least in the carry-on bag, then uh, that's going to avoid the problem. The best advice you can give. Can you get additional sense. insurance beyond that? You can always get additional insurance, and that's it. If you state this is a $4,000 valued luggage, you can buy additional insurance there. And you know that way it would cover you, or the trip insurance ahead of time that covers that luggage is probably the easiest way to do it. 